Hi there, I'm Aaron, and I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the hacked or circuit bent um, keychain digital camera that I've uh, constructed here and connected to an Arduino microcontroller. Uh, you can see an earlier version of this, which was connected to a solderless breadboard and just all taped together. Uh, it's also available on YouTube, but this version is a uh, an iterated version, and it's enclosed in a Radio Shack project enclosure. Uh, nothing too fancy, but nicely done, I think, still, and I'll step through it with you here. I uh, just want to show you the insides a little bit before I close this up. So to start, spin that around. So you can see a little bit of what's inside here. Uh, just the Arduino sticking out on top. There's an LED wired up to um, pin 13 and then the rest of the wiring runs underneath. Uh, there's a printed circuit board from Radio Shack hiding underneath the Arduino and then one level below that right up against the other side is the uh, camera itself and you can see the uh, camera lens right here. Um, it's actually countersunk uh, the, the hole that I drilled so it's a little bit deeper on the inside allowing the lens to sit flush right up against there and make sure that it's not going to move around um, and then it's just mounted with some adhesive tape on the inside but the countersinking helped hold it in place. Just above that there's a, uh, a light meter uh, that's going to be used to tell how much light is available and tell the camera whether or not to take a picture and again that LED on top just an indicator uh, after a picture is taken um, letting you know that it's working so to step through real quick what uh, some of the background for this is I wanted to create something that would take pictures um, at least somewhat randomly or intermittently and uh, it's something that uh, you can put onto a backpack strap you can see with this metal backing you can actually slip a belt underneath here or run your backpack strap through this and then just clamp it on and uh, and have that. It's bulky, I mean this is still a somewhat rough version and uh, looking to shrink it down later but anyway um, so the idea would be that this would intermittently take photographs and it's just something that you would wear and have on you maybe when you're biking or going around campus or uh, pretty much anything and um, my goal in this was to capture moments that would otherwise be lost to us. There are so many um, times that I look back on that I've spent going around different cities and uh, so many moments that you don't either can't bother, be bothered, especially on a bicycle, you can't be bothered to stop and get off and dig out your camera and take a picture, um, but that looking back on you wish that you had some, some photographs of that. So uh, this is working as kind of an, you know, autonomous uh, memory recorder and something you don't have to bother with to capture some of those moments and you know you probably get a lot of pictures that you don't want or don't need but you never know what you might want to see um, you know months or even years down the road some of those things that initially seem worthless might be rather valuable to you and looking back so the way this works is that um, there's a power switch on the side so when you don't want to be using the camera you can turn it off and when it's switched on the, uh, the light flashes a little bit initially just uh, showing you that it's coming on and then the light meter will take a reading and uh, tell if there's enough light. If it's too dark it'll just go to sleep for five minutes wake up again and take another light reading. Um, if it's light enough then it, the camera will snap a picture and it will then go to sleep for ten minutes before checking again to see if there's enough light for it to take another photograph. So you've got that, uh, you know, far from random, but still intermittent function working there. And again, like I said, just on a backpack strap. Um, light enough is a relative term. I just use settings from, uh, you know, overhead lighting in, you know, indoors would be considered adequate light for, in order for it to work. And that's something that could be customized in the code uh, on the Arduino. So. Uh, you know, not too much to see in terms of this working, but I will switch it on for us. So we turn that on there. The initial light's flashing as it boots up. And it's going to flash six times slowly as it turns on. You should hear a, a very quiet beep as it takes a picture. And I don't know if that's audible on the recording, but it did just take a photograph right there out of my window. I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to turn it off right now. Plug it into the computer, and we'll pull that up on the screen here. And I'll show that to you in just one second. So here we have 
the photographs that I've taken in the past. You got a few of me upside down and otherwise. And then further down some of the ones that are taken out the back window here and this most recent one that I just added on. So that's the uh, in project working. And running out of time on my recording. Also some credit to Saul Bisker, a good deal of it for the uh, background. You can find his instructions and uh, the code that I used as a foundation for my code on instructables.com and uh, figure out which hardware to use there. That information is available online and a really detailed walkthrough from him. So thanks to that for that and I'll put that in the comments as well. All right, so that about wraps it up. Thanks very much for watching and I hope that you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.